An ABC News investigation into the origins of COVID-19 as calls grow for answers about how it started and whether it leaked from a Chinese lab. Terry Moran is in Washington with the story. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. It's a scientific question that's ignited a political firestorm. Where did the virus come from? Uh, the expectation, it came from nature, like most viruses do. Most scientists still expect that answer. But there are growing calls for a thorough investigation of another possibility, an accidental lab leak. So the ABC News investigative team reached out to the people leading multiple inquiries around the world, and several of them told us their eyes remain fixed on that lab in China. The Wuhan Institute of Virology is one of the leading centers of research on bat coronaviruses. For years, the lab has been collecting potentially dangerous viruses, some from an abandoned copper mine in southwestern China. In 2012, there were these six Chinese miners who went down, were sent down into a mine in southern China to clean out the bat manure. They all got infected with what now looks like COVID-19-like symptoms. Three of them died. Researchers from the Wuhan lab collected viruses from those caves, but they say none matches the virus that caused the pandemic. There is no virus that's close enough that you could use any type of gain research to get to SARS-CoV-2. Now you could hypothesize, I suppose, that the investigators at the Wuhan Institute of Virology had some virus that was closer and they just weren't telling us about that. Do you believe that this virus spent any time in a laboratory? Before the pandemic, absolutely not. And that remains the consensus among most virologists that this coronavirus has none of the telltale fingerprints of bioengineering. Now concerns that there may have been an accidental lab leak or possibly something more disturbing. The U.S. intelligence community reporting that there may have been research taking place at that lab that the public doesn't know about. In January, the State Department issued a fact sheet on activity at the Wuhan Institute of Virology that alleged that in the past, the lab collaborated on projects with China's military that it kept secret from the world. ABC News has also learned from a former State Department official that the U.S. government was aware of financial accounts tied to the Chinese military that were funding the Wuhan lab. But this March, one of the lab's directors, Shi Zhongli, known as the Bat Woman for her extensive research on bat coronaviruses, directly addressed the allegation that research was being conducted for the Chinese military. We heard the rumors that in the, it claimed that in our laboratory we have some project, blah blah, with the armies, blah blah, this kind of rumors. But this is not correct. The question is. Was Shu Zheng Li telling the truth when she stated emphatically there was no Chinese military involvement prior to the outbreak at the Wuhan Institute of Virology? If there was, her credibility flies out the window. Now all eyes are turning to the next step in this global investigation, experts bent on parsing fact from speculation. It's important to stay open-minded because we don't know exactly what happened. We are scratching the surface. A final note, more than a year ago, top scientists published a letter in the prestigious medical journal Lancet that dismissed the lab leak theory. They called it a conspiracy theory. So ABC News reached out to all 27 scientists who signed that letter. About a dozen responded, several of them telling us they're not so sure this thing came from nature. And one scientist telling us he's flipped entirely, and he believes that now the lab leak theory is more likely. George. You have to wonder if we're ever going to know one way or the other. Okay, Terry, thanks very much. You can see more of the ABC News investigation tonight on Nightline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.